his kit and wasn't able to help out his team as a result. So mm. Fafni was either the first or the last to die in all those team fights as we now head back into picks and bans and we'll see what happens next. Legacy go, well, you can't have a Cyrus. So they're not looking to pick it up first pick. What do you get first pick if Osiris is banned away? Normally you see the second pick. Maybe they're looking for... Uh, I'm not sure what they're going to prioritize here, actually. Maybe a, a soul, take it away from Skyfire. Um, or maybe even a... Trying to think, maybe the Morrigan. Maybe they'll pull that out. Maybe. I know Eidavon does have a Morrigan True. as well. Yeah, getting rid of Raven next. Kronos as well from Skyfire. I really would just want to see Pure on Ram. I would like to see Pure on either Ram or Hu Yi. Probably picking it up in their third pick. Yeah. I'd like to see it around there. Okay. Just so that you can't get it banned away from him in the second draft phase yeah. if they've already picked up their mid and jungle kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um see the soul Kronos banned away by Skyfire, not wanting to deal with either of those gods. Probably in the mid lane, don't play them. Eidavine and Limits both able to play both of those gods to a T. Yeah, all right. First pick here, Legacy. Morrigan open, as you mentioned. What else is strong and open? We've got a Toth, Ganesh. Ganesh. Ah, interesting. Does that mean Morrigan now? Because Morrigan is such a heavily contested god. I've not seen Skyfire really play it. That's, that's my thing. Okay. Does uh, I, does King Canada have? I'm not sure that in his god pool is the thing. I know some people just straight up don't like playing the Morrigan, and others yeah. absolutely love playing it. So Camazots will be the pick. Sleepy did really well on that in the early game, and Erling Shen will go over to the side of Shank, um, most likely. Anyway, could be flipped. I guess you could run either one of those solo these days. But mm -hmm. uh, I think the Ganesh pick. Not only is Ganesh a strong pick for Legacy themselves, it's a strong takeaway from Skyfire. Um, I think I mentioned it earlier, but Trill played Ganesh, I think, five games out of six. Five out split. of six. Oof. Or five out of seven, I think it was, maybe. But uh, Perfect score. <laughs> <laughs> but taking that away from his comfort picks, we saw he did struggle a little bit with the farming on the Fafnir mm -hmm. um, and the, that need for constant regret, the field to constantly be aggressive with Fafnir, even when you're behind. Fafnir from behind is just not a fun time. Yeah. And and he when you're ahead, you've got the gold, the gold and the passive. Gold and the passive the stronger, up, yeah. So it's harder to kill. We've got a Bologna and a Toth coming through already. So that's the initiate sorter right there. Bologna with the ult, jumps in. You don't even need it on the, on the support. Yep, makes sense. And Bologna, again, we saw her struggle a little bit in the early game against Nerling Sheen earlier. But yep. that, that matchup, as I think I mentioned before, was who gets ahead stays ahead. In that lane, at least. In the laning yeah. phase. Yeah. So, you get a first blood or you first summon, force the other person back and get that little bit of experience lead, then that's that's when it can get out of control and you start seeing those constant solo kills, uh, as we saw into Kiki from KO. Um, this is where I want to see the Hunter, but they go with a Vulcan instead for the mid lane. Um, good disrupt, good damage. Not great against Toth, though, in my opinion. Why is that? I mean, you can place that turret down and then... Safely for uh, backfire is a straight line of dash, right? And it's very readable as to where you're going. Sure, yeah. It's, so, it's short. evade and punish dodges that damage and then stuns you, can kill, you turret, kill your turret through that stun as well. Uh, is it not easy. tanky enough to survive? Uh, you don't level your turret on Vulcan. Oh, no, no, no. Like, even <laughs> at level one, is it just evade and punish will one shot that? Uh, it won't one shot it, but you don't grab turret at level one normally. Grab back fire. Oh yeah, yeah. At, at least at like level well, three. Well, most people. Yeah, level yeah. three. Um, it won't. It won't instant clear it, but it'll be like one auto off. But okay. Turret's not dealing a lot of damage. It's not your main concern at that point. So yeah. I think Toth is able to evade a lot of that. De literally evade and punish a Vulcan. Yeah. If you play it in the in the right matchup. But okay. uh, we we'll see these second lots of ban phases here. Skyfire actually ban away the Rama themselves. Uh, Kepri gets banned away by Legacy though. Yeah. Capri, first ban that we've seen in this match. Uh, we did see one last match. Kanga yeah, did not like Sporks on that in the first game. No, that was a big issue for them. Uh, sure was. In that game, but uh, uh, you, you're going to have to say this one because I'm going to say it wrong again. Kukulin. Kukulin. It's because you read it, right? Yeah, uh, every time. Yeah, so in your mind, even though you think you know what it is, yeah. you just say what you read. Crazy uh, Terraban. <laughs> 
Terra, yep. So, Legacy, I think, actually have done their homework on Skyfire, and they've kind of identified that Trill well, likes Ganesh, yeah. likes Terra, and likes Capri, and they want him to play Fafnir by the look of things. Um, that's what else is open? Gib is open, Gib. but as you mentioned, not a good choice. Athena, I wouldn't mind here either. Yeah. Good peel. Yeah, it's aggressive too. Aggressive, but can, to can be aggressive and it can be passive depending on how you want to play. If they're yeah. engaging on you, you can just taunt, uh, taunt them away from your carries, mm -hmm. peel for them, uh, or you can set up, especially now that the Medusa's on the table, that, that combo. old cheese of yeah. Athena, Medusa, dual yeah. lane is uh, also available. But now Odin comes out and no one able to get out so far, except for the Camelots in his ultimate. Oh, sorry, he has a little leap that he can get over the wall with as Does well. Does that mean they they need to buy a Phantom? They the Phantom will. has damage mitigation on it now. It does. doesn't have the knock-up immunity that it used to, yeah. uh, and that got taken away, um, but it does have that damage mitigation to, uh, to help it out. A bit of a better cooldown now as well. Actually, sorry, no, I think they increased the cooldown, so it's not a fun active. Uh, Good fun news relative. for Odin, then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it makes sense to bring out the Odin here, high damage, uh, That'll probably be a jungle Odin, I'm guessing, or maybe a yeah. jungle Bologna. No, either one. I 100% sure it'll be Odin jungle, just because, the, as you mentioned, they've got hardly any escapes. Only one uh, on Kamazot so far. So, why not spread it across the whole map? Why not put, drop a cage and let Toth deal his damage? Let Bologna jump in there as well. Buff. Build up that Odin passive while you're at it. Yeah, why Get not? Get some kills, why not? And then oh, Huyi yeah. gets taken away as well. Circles, so. man. Circles on circles on circles, and then toss to blow you up. Exactly. Not to mention you're walled if in. If you survive. Not, not only are you walled in by Odin, you're then walled in again by Ganesh. Yep. That's the thing that we're going to see, guys. That's going to be rough. They do pick up the Athena, but now that the Odin's nice. on the board, Athena can't get out either unless she ultimates. So. Yeah, but she's standing still for so long that it's so easy to kill her, especially yeah. if she's the only one in there. Yeah. The worst is when you misclick and you ult someone who's also in the also cage. In the cage you so you stand there. Like, look, we've got extra protections, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I like the draft out of Skyfire, but the Odin does really throw it off for them. Um, interesting to see Pure Armor Juicer here and see how he plays that, but I really would have liked to see them pick up the Hu Yi. Um, yeah, that would have uh, been nice. Pure is known for his Hu Yi, he's known for his Rama, so... Yeah. Um, Legacy really l looks... It looks like a standard draft in general, but a really good counter draft as well. Yeah. Not only in terms of gods, but in terms of uh, Skyfire's individual preferences. Mm. So, Legacy looking really strong with this draft. I, I think they're probably going to take this second game if, if it was up to me. But just looking at the team comps on yeah. paper, just looks like a nice draft. Lots of pressure, lots of damage, mm. lots of lockdown. And it's going to be really hard for Skyfire. Yeah, sure will. I mean, d Divine on Toth. Last game, absolutely amazing. Sure, he, he died. Actually, he didn't die. I think it was 8 0 and 7. Yeah, he, he didn't. It's, yeah. You play Toth right, you don't die. Yeah. Especially with the Capri on your team. That's he got crazy, revived yeah. a couple of times. I think that was the closest he got to yeah. die. I mean, Divine on Toth, you can see it's a 48 win percentage. Uh, sorry, 44 win percentage and picked 48% of the time. The other times, he's either banned or. Teams don't know that Toth exists. <laughs> Why doesn't Odin get played every game? 100% win rate. OP. Dude. Odin needs nerfs. He's only got a 3% pick rate, but he wins every game. Guys, he's, he's that niche pick doing? though, right? You, you look at the enemy's team, you go, right, they don't have any ways to get out of an Odin cage. They yeah. pick Odin. Yeah, so it's like, got good burst damage early as well. Not to, yeah, not to mention the amount of damage that Odin brings to the table. Not even yeah. just early he will burst you down even late game if you're a, a squishy character mm -hmm. you get hit by a bird bomb no matter how tanky Odin is you are pretty much half health yeah and then by that time especially uh, now that there's no would... passive protections from aura items generally being built so you don't even have those yeah. base protections online so you die even faster yeah and then Divine only needs to land one or two hieroglyphic assaults and you're dead yeah exactly you don't even need man. the final judgement on that one alright so right off the bat no invades coming out so it does actually look like by the solo lane our chuckles and freemason want to go aggressive but they can see shank and sleepy also have the same idea um they might not have spotted out sleepy they will now though he walks into lane lets his presence be known so they don't aggress too much onto shank but no surprises from uh from freemason and chuckles wanting to be aggressive chuckles not the most passive of players in solo lane 
No, he likes to reduce that health bar of the enemy, doesn't he? He <laughs> does, he. Whether he's going to get the kill or not, he'll, uh, he will poke you into the ground. But Trill actually starts in mid lane here with uh, King Canado and leaves. Uh, we've got yeah. Pure here soloing the, uh, the red soloing buff. Red and buff. he's, he's going to get caught out here. Legacy. Just, he's got bombers, so he'll sustain. He's got bluestone as well, so his early damage is good. At the same time, elementals are being taken by Legacy. Divine at half HP. What, where'd he go there? Uh, he went to his own red buff. He did, yeah. He uh, he doesn't have that Boomer's Mask for the stain, sustain himself, but he yeah. has a pot ticking, so he'll be able to heal up a decent right. amount. Goes by for the that. blue buff in the solo lane. Freemason extremely low, and on the right side, that is the first blood towards Shank once again. Pure Might is the next target, but not enough damage for Legacy. Skyfire, first rotation. blood again. That Four man rotation to blue buff. Saw the invade That's exactly said, what you need, right? Yep. As I said before, don't let them go in and just take things. Punish them. Rotate early. Get that first kill on the board. And again, first blood goes to the side of Skyfire. Um, really good signs. Again early. Just need to carry it forward. Yeah, they need, they need to keep it. They need to capitalize on it and make sure that they don't lose it. You can see it says Equinox at the top, but that is actually Skyfire. But uh, no worries, we will continue through. So first blood for Skyfire onto the support. No, that is the solo lane and not the support. So already Skyfire are showing Legacy that they shouldn't be messed with. And again, Sleepy with a kill onto El Chuckles. Chuckles with a little bit of disrespect. Shouldn't it be that far up with no vision. I mean, I, look, there's, there's actually not a single ward on the map right now. Yeah, it's a pretty early game. Uh, not everyone's really backed yet to pick up wards. Wards are so, so good though, man. They are so good. They were placed yeah, earlier, but they've kind of... It's the 2 minute 30 mark, right? So they're starting to fall off because they're placed before minion spawn. So That's true. Wards are falling yeah. off. Not everyone's backed yet to pick up... To refresh those wards. So that mm -hmm. is the time when you do want to gank either a solo or a duo because you're like... They don't know I'm coming. Yeah. Hi. So that bye. was just See a, you later. a wise decision there by uh, Sleepy, who yeah, really uh, again first land on a new team is showing up like he's playing so well. Yeah, we've got now a kill onto the solo and the jungler for Skyfire, and uh, really starting to do decent amounts of work. And they're not letting this Odin get online, although he's still equal levels with Sleepy here uh, on the Camazots, but. If they can hit level 5 first, get another pick onto Odin, Odin another god where... The one thing where people say, Odin's great, but if it falls behind, he's just an alt bot, right? Yeah, and a health bar. And a health shield. bar, yeah. yeah. So it's like, don't... Don't let Odin get to a point where he's even, or ahead, and you can kind of manage him. See the blink come out of Odin early as well as the first relic? Yeah. Uh, kind of explains why he fell down early. No defensive relic, no aggressive, even def defensive aggressive, like a horrific emblem like we've been seeing, uh, as we see on the Camazots. Um, being able to be locked down as Odin doesn't feel great, because you are just stuck there until you can leap, and it's a predictable leap. Yeah, and you're the god that's built for lockdown. So whenever it happens to you, it's a feels bad man moment. But that's something that Skyfire need to look out for. As you said in the previous game, a blink uh, gives you that damage mitigation. So when you're tanky on an Odin, it's even harder to kill him when he jumps on you. Not to mention a, a blink ultimate and you're reducing the attack speed out of the, the carries for Skyfire. So if he if he blinks in onto Medusa, traps her in the cage, it's not going to be taking any damage basically. Because hmm. the basic attacks are going to be coming out so slow. Not to mention the, the mitigated damage on top of that. We've got nice gank here onto Chuckles in the solo lane though. Yeah, and he is slowed, and he is pinned to the taunt from Shank. Will he be able to pick up the kill? He's going to heal anyway, so all of this tower damage means nothing. There's four people there for Skyfire. Vulcan ult did come over. Picks up the and kill as well. Is El Chuckles going down once again. Shank with a kill onto Divine 2. What happened there? Look at all the health bars for uh, Skyfire. This is Freemason cleaning up. Picks up a double kill, but he will be the next to fall. He doesn't have the jump. He doesn't have mana for the shield. He's so low, but he he lives. What? He Why would out. you not chase that? I mean, they're low themselves. They could get punished by a, a, f a turnaround bird bomb if he does manage to pick up enough mana to do so. So, Skyfire, uh, get a couple of kills. Drop a couple in return. We see the power of that Odin, though. Now has Warrior Tabby online as well. Yeah. More damage. Now two levels up onto Sleepy. And 
This is exactly what we didn't want to see if you're a, a Skyfire fan at least. Yeah. <laughs> coming out and it, the uh, stone guy is just off the mark. That was unfortunate. But he did a, he did get the Oracle Harpies, which is a positive. Certainly. So Skyfire, again, we see all, all this aggression coming out. When they get ahead, they want to keep fighting and keep that lead, but th they just overextended. They didn't see the Odin coming, and he was able to get a double kill. So Just stayed a little he, too long. They dove for the yeah. kill. I, w I wouldn't have minded them as soon as they got the Eagles rally. Just back off. We got his ult. We'll just come back in 40 seconds and uh, and, and kill him next time. So. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe just a little bit of adrenaline pumping through the veins. Yeah, we need to get this kill. Let's go. Like you can, you can hear the energy coming from them. Yeah, uh, in the background. They are so, so loud, actually. They are <laughs> they are very hyped up. But maybe it was just a little bit too much in that sense. But still in this game, uh, still in with a little bit of a gold lead even. Um, so doing really well in these early games. Just don't want to see them fall off now. No, no, we do not. And Skyfire, they want to stay ahead. Obviously, but, but when they again, it's this management of not going too aggressive all the time. They need to pick their moments. Yeah, pick their fights, pick their engages, and it looks like it's going to be onto L Chuckles. That's where they want to go with these ganks. But they're also starting up the gold fury at the same time on the other side of the map. Torn onto Freemason. He is slowed. Uses that shield. He just survived through that. Gold Fury, as you say, down to half HP. Pure Might tanking it up. They will switch it over. And Legacy have no idea this is going on. They will now with their global sound. It's the gold burst there for Skyfire. Now a 1,000 gold lead. And that's what we want to see, though. It was that measured aggression. They said, look, we're going to show our presence, show that we're being aggressive on this side of the map. You guys go to Gold Fury. And you actually saw, I think it was Limits, walked from his red buff back into lane and he went over a ward. Yeah. As soon as they, they, they full committed then because they knew he wasn't coming to the Gold Fury. So, yeah. um, great call from Skyfire. Managed to sneak away the Gold Fury. Um, getting it away for free in the end. And just really good job. Surprising right. of the lack of control of that Gold Fury from Legacy. Like, th they should always have a ward on it, especially at seven minutes. That's huge. They, they need to... Make sure that they've got constant vision of it, even while well, they just lost it, so now they can't. They've got to wait a little bit, but they need to improve there. Shank uses that taunt on no one, so he's not going to heal up at all. I, I, no, you, still, you still get the heal, you still get the flat heal. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, Scales so, up with uh, enemies hit. Yeah, and then yes. you've got his gladiator shield online as well, so he'll be just fine. Um, they do get that ultimate out of him, though, and that's what we saw Skyfire get from. Uh, from El Chuckles earlier and they full committed to make sure they got the kill under tower and were punished for it. You see the difference there between Legacy. They get the ultimate, they go, okay, we got his ultimate and they just walk away. They also got Trill's ultimate out of that. So that was an Athena ult and an Erlang Chen ult off the board. Pretty big win for just a little bit of aggression. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was just Freemason walking into lane. Bird bombing once. That was it. Yep. So, massive trade. There is a Phantom online for Athena, which is great news. For Skyfire, there's the ult pot from Freemason. Divine charging up, he uses the, the shield on Freemason, keeps him alive, but he is down to half HP. And there was a sprint popped from Bologna, just to make sure that everyone was safe. A sprint as well from Shank and Phantom popped from Athena. Yeah, they do manage to steal the speed buff though. Sleepy goes in and just sneaks that away now. Just goes, picks it up, says, <laughs> thank you, I'll be going now. Oh, he's Although, no, he's looking for a... He's looking really aggressive though, though towards El Chuckles, but Chuckles sees him and just goes back under tower for now. Alright, there's a, a taunt in the mid lane, and Divine takes now to about half HP. Trill does get hit a couple times with that Hieroglyphic Assault, but it's not too much. Here's Athena, he's got those Greaves, and he's starting off Urchin, or what do you reckon he'll pick up here? Um. Not Magi's, no? No, it wouldn't be Magi. It's too easy to pop with a silence like Ohm on the board as well as evade and punish uh, and disarm. So too many easy ways to get rid of the Magi's. I'd say it wouldn't be, wouldn't be opposed to a Spirit Robe, to be honest. Uh, Hide okay. of the Urchin is great. Once you have four stacks online, it becomes value. Yeah. But cooldown on Athena as well as damage mitigation 
um, and decent amounts of protection uh, when you get hit by that CC. Is C Trill oh. getting engaged on here? There's the double bounce, and Trill is extremely low. Ultimate's coming all the way out, and Shank is able to pick up a kill onto Weave, but it's traded back. Freemason with another another double kill. Free, uh, I Divine with a kill onto Trilogy. So it's a three for one trade already in the favor of Legacy. Shank using that ultimate to try to stay alive, but Freemason showing why Odin is so contested and why he has a 100% win rate. That's it, he's just too strong. Yeah. But no, you do see the, the strength of Odin. There was still about a minute left, and they pick up the Paul Demon here as well as a result, but there was still about a minute left on the cooldown for Phantom, um, and that's before Odin even has any cooldown. Has no cooldown reduction just yet, online. So just that's wait till he's at max CDR, and... You've got maybe two phantoms on the side of Skyfire. I think they need at least a second uh, phantom on probably Erling Shan, I guess. Yeah. Um, to get them out of trouble, kind of overlap them as long as they keep their comms on point, don't both pop it. It's nothing more frustrating than having two phantoms go off at the same time. But yeah. <laughs> uh, if they can bounce that back and then forward, there's still going to be. If Odin does end up going to cooldown, which I imagine he will, it's probably a spirit robe something else sort of defensive that will give him some cooldown reduction as well um if that's at max uh, max cooldown it's i think it's a 45 second cooldown when you're old so for odin odin ult odin ult at max yeah. cooldown i think it's about 45 yeah. seconds that's yeah something crazy low like that so whereas you've got a minute what is it Almost three minutes yeah. on the cooldown for, for the Phantom. Phantom. Another yeah. cage comes out here. The Phantom's online this time, so they managed to escape just for now. Yeah, but that's all that Freemason wanted to do. Jump in, pop that uh, Phantom, and now they've got it on cooldown. Second one can be picked up for Shank. Limits. Almost getting caught out. Forced to use that Aegis. Will he go down? No, he's got the jump away, and I Divine is able to pick up Sleepy. There's a Vulcan ultimate on top of three. Will only hit two. And uh, Pure Might will be the next to fall. So, four kills already in the span of about two seconds. The next to fall is going to be King Canada. And that is a deer side for Legacy. And Gold, a Gold Fury. Fury, a tier one will a fall tier. in mid lane. Possibly even pressure a tier two. Get at least a bit of poke onto that. Polar Demon's down for now. Looks like they're just going to clear up their lanes. Won't really... They'll check the jungle on their way out, I guess, and see what they can find. But... Nothing really on that side of the map for now. But it, it feels like a mirror of the last game. Skyfire got the first blood, they got a couple of kills after, they even won like one or two fights. But Legacy just know how to counter engage, they know how to engage whenever they want to and play around whenever Skyfire did. So it's well there's not a lot of opportunity to sky for Skyfire to come back. Yeah, so I wanna point out Weave's Dharmic Pillars, they're perfectly placed. Perfect spot to peel for his team, and actually ended up causing both Shank and Trill to fall at the end there. Trill ults Shank, Shank has to walk through the first pillar, doesn't get through the second wall, gets caught a little bit on that, gets body blocked onto it. Trill comes down, lands on it, takes the damage from that as well, and they both get taken so low, and they can't escape because the, the walls are, are still there, they can't go yep. back the way they can, they're going to take more damage yet again, so yep. um, really well placed and a little bit too aggressive from Skyfire, feeling themselves a bit too much before that team fight. Yeah, I mean, they're building up this adrenaline and they're executing, but it's not calculated. They're going in because they feel like they should and not because... It's the right call. Exactly, yep. yeah, so it, it's difficult. Well, it's difficult for Skyfire to make that call to say, hey, we're behind, how do we come back, let's engage. Yep. Be because if they play passive, then they're just giving Legacy more of a lead. Well, the thing is, Legacy now have an engage comp as well, and Trill takes a lot of poke again here. Uh, decent amount of damage return from Shang there. Looking for the ultimate. Trill does not get hit by I Divine's ultimate. Looked like it would, and if it did, that was 100% a kill. Shank trying to def defend this tier 1 tower, but not a wise choice, but he does back off. Nicely played here by Legacy to pick up his tier 1 tower. At the same time, there is one being traded in the left lane. It does get quite low, but not actually going to fall. Limits in a 2v1 against both carries. And he's coming out on top. There's the Athena, defender of Olympus, coming through. 
Petrify coming up from Pure Might does go on cooldown and they are going to chase under the tower. There's the taunt. Beads popped by Limits and he will live. Tier 1 tower goes down. There's a lot of ultimates expended for just a Tier 1 tower. Yeah, and now Adivine's here trying to punish the lazy back there but does manage to escape just on time to King Canada. But the, the thing for me here is you've got Trill two levels behind again. Just finished his Heart of the Urchin now. I just don't see the value in picking up a Heart of Urchin when you're behind. Yeah, it's, when, a, it's, a, ahead, it's a greedy, it's I'm ahead and we're killing you. Yeah. And that, maybe that's when he, when he was at tier one cloak. That, that, was, that was his thinking. Plan. But yeah. in, in his head, he's, he's not recognized that, hey, I just need cheaper defense. And I think yeah, so Spirit Rope here Spirit Rope. fits so perfectly. Exactly. And now he's, he's going to have to be trying to build up these stacks in a now four and a half thousand gold difference. It's, it's going to be really difficult for Athena to survive long enough to even get it an assist. Um, unless it's an immediate pick, it's going to be really rough for, for those stacks to come online. Yeah, and everyone for the side of Legacy is getting a bit tanky. We can see there's there's two items that is the Jade Jade Lotus? Jade Emperor's Jade, Jade Emperor's Helm. That Crown. one. Yeah, it reduces the the physical protection of everyone in an area and inc increases magical. Decreases defense. physical damage. Damage? It's a damage reduction. I thought it was protections. I believe it's damage reduction. Fifty power, I think it is. Or thirty power. What thirty is physical that, power. Dude? Yeah, that's why it gets picked up. So yeah, um, it so actually strong. reduces the damage dealing from the other side for physical damage dealing. Okay. Um as well as that's Genji's guard. I sure haven't is. seen one of those built in a long time. I honestly don't know what the pass is it's anymore. It's getting it's changed in the next patch, I believe. But okay. currently, I think it's when you take magical damage, you receive cooldown reduction. And it that's stacks up to three times, I think. That's nice. Yeah, I think it procs every 60 seconds or so. Especially on a Ganesha. Whenever you're taking damage, you can dash more, you can ult more, you can... Your Dynamic Pillars are already on the short ohm? cooldown, so... Ohm, that massive silence we've seen, we've seen already has been used to such great use from Weave. I mean, he's shutting down people so so well that I Divine can just swoop in. There's no dashes from Skyfire because they're silenced and pick up the kills. Yeah, uh, having another, even another look at the build, King Cannon has gone for an early Chronos Pendant. Cooldown's great. The extra power on it's great as well. I don't think it's the first full item other yeah. than boot, outside of boots. Penetration, Spirit Vessellation, even here gives you a little bit of cooldown to get you on online a little chronos pendant for me is like a luxury fifth or sixth item as a mage yeah once you've got your rotor to hooting online then you can go into extra cooldown so you're really swinging hard another engage here in the mid lane though shank forces it out an ultimate here from athena as well um, the pillars are down shank is taking so much damage from divine in the back line who dashes forward onto king canada who uses those beads and the aegis to stay alive divine just sitting on the side dealing so much damage as is limits the dps is coming through Weave extremely low, Freemason extremely low, but Legacy are still fighting. There's already three down for Skyfire, and they pick up the next two under the tower. Freemason with another double kill. Freemason uh, goes down to King Canada from the grave. Yeah, the tower finishes that kill off, but, uh, you know, now 9-2 and two is this Odin. The one thing we said was don't let the Odin get ahead or stay even. It's gotten ahead, and it's just yeah. really that Odin cage... Now I've got a Breastplate of Valor online for cooldown. How does Skyfire survive long enough to get to a point where Pure is able to one-shot people or King Canada is able to one-shot people with that Earthbreaker? He's still not finished a full pen item here outside of the uh, the boots, the penetration boots so far. So Yeah, so he's got 10 pen. He's right? got 10 flat pen. Uh, I think there's another 10 the flat pen on the, yeah. on the tier 2 spear. So... It's, it's not a lot of penetration, considering how much magical defense is already stacked onto... You've got the Mass Immunes providing at li probably 30 protections, 35 protections, if you're around all five of them, which Odin generally is, especially if you cage them in. Yeah. You've got a Heart of the Urchin starting to stack up now, four L Chuckles as the Gold Fury goes down to the side of Legacy. Uh, and then you've also got the Genji's Guard on the Ganesh, so those magical pr protections are enough that He's not doing any damage to yeah. the front line, which just, y your mage needs to be blowing up either the front line or the back line. You need to pick one, and that flat pen's not even enough to really 
affect the front liners of this one. Yeah, there goes the cage. Vulcan ultimate coming through. It won't actually hit anyone there. Shanked, 10% HP, still falling. I Divine is able to kill him. The fight continues. If we see it, almost. There we go. Trilogy is taking so much damage, as is Pure Might. Forced to back away, Al Chuckles picks up Trilogy. There's King Canada it's being exploded by the bird bomb of Freemason. Four down, and it uh, looks like teams are getting up. Is that the surrender vote come through from Skyfire? We'll see eventually. I think they're just going to end here. It's not going to take them long. There's Already got surrender. five minions in the pit, so it'll be a, a good finish here from Legacy. They'll finish that one off strongly, get the four picks. Uh, Sleepy will back now to try and defend, but it's a little bit too little, too late. And uh, unfortunately, Skyfire will go down two to nothing here to Legacy. Yeah. Uh, really well played by Legacy. A good showing from Skyfire. They put in a good fight. A little bit more discipline, I think, needs to come out, and that will come with land experience and yeah. more experience as playing in a team in this kind of competitive setting as well. Of so, course, of course. Um, they shouldn't be disheartened. They've got a, another game as well um, coming up against. It'll be against Kanga. Mm -hmm. um, so they they fall down to the losers bracket, but they're not out. Uh, they still get a second bite, and hopefully they can put in a good showing against Kanga and get back at themselves into that. Uh, yeah, I'm that next round. So. Really keen to see that match, Kanga and Skyfire, and Skyfire just put on that show. Who knows what'll happen? It'll That's definitely that. be a bloodbath. I think yeah, it'll be like there'll be some blows thrown. <laughs> That's for sure. And I it's, hope Okay, put, place a bet now. How many kills in the entire game do you reckon in the first game? Ooh, first game, I reckon 35 kills. 30? 30 to 35. 30, okay. All right. I'm going to go for 40. I'm, I'm hoping. All right. Guys, we are going to go to a short break, roughly 20 minutes. And uh, we will be right back. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with Kanga and uh, Skyfire.